Are all mortal sins considered equal or is there a grading system? Today on Made for Glory. In the Catholic Church, when we talk about sin, a lot of times you'll hear the distinction between venial and mortal sins. And venial being kind of those everyday sins that we commit out of human weakness, and mortal sins being those sins that are of a serious or grave nature, directly against the Ten Commandments, that we know that they're bad and we choose to do them anyway. Um, so whenever we get into the area of mortal sins, sometimes you can ask, well, are all mortal sins created you know, the exact same? Like if you, if, you, uh, if you fall into the sin of masturbation, that counts, that, that's grave matter. It can, it can be if it's freely chosen, um, can be a mortal sin. Is that the same as murder? And obviously, uh, when we look at mortal sins, we have to also look at the fact that our sins don't just impact us. Spiritually, any sin that you do isn't just about something wrong that you you did and how and you know that God's mad at you now. Um, God loves you and wants the best for you, but when we sin, we end up hurting ourselves. We hurt our relationship with God because we turn from his love. We also hurt the body of Christ. Spiritually, we do impact other people. Even if it's a sin done in total privacy and no one even ever knows about it, it does impact spiritually other people. But that's also compounded when we do certain sins that directly impact uh, the, the well-being, the health, the safety, uh, and the spiritual spiritual life, the faith even of other people. If I do something that's scandalous and hurts other people's faith, that's actually worse because it's now impacting them as well. It's impacting their relationship with God, their relationship with the church. If I do something that's that's hurtful, not just to me, but also brings pain to somebody else, then I've impacted them in a negative way as well. So, so in that sense, that mortal sins isn't, isn't, isn't just is it venial or mortal and they're all the exact same. I have to recognize how my sins do impact other people too. This is why a lot of times when people confess uh, sins, a mortal sin that they committed maybe even years ago, it's helpful sometimes for them to reflect and also maybe and to pray for forgiveness and to, to pray for other people that might have been impacted by that sin. Um, again, maybe you haven't even seen the people that were around you that you did that sin with. If you stole something, for instance, that's that's serious, you know, stealing something, robbing, um, but there are other people that are impacted. The, the person that you stole uh, from, the people that maybe you collaborated with. So recognizing that our sins, obviously they're personal, uh, they impa impact our own hearts and we have to personally repent to those sins, but we're also part of a wider community, the body of Christ. That's what we call the church. Um, and so we have to uh, ask the Lord to bring grace and healing to the entire body for any sins that we may have committed. So whether you've uh, committed a mortal sin or a venial sin or a mix of the, uh, both of them, that's why confession is so helpful. Being able to speak those sins out loud to the church, to the church's minister who, who stands in there, sits there in persona Christi, in the person of Christ, that you might experience absolution, you might experience the healing power that Jesus wants to share with each one of us. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Made for Glory. Thank you for all those who are supporting us on Patreon. We're so grateful to you. Also as well, for all those who are, are leaving comments and questions uh, below, that helps us to continue this conversation about what it means to be a Catholic in these very challenging times. God bless.